top notch. It gives you all the vibes that you need for 2021. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jessica. If this is your first time, welcome. On my channel, I talk about fragrances, hair, and random DIYs. If you feel like you'll be interested in any of that content or if you watch this video and you like it, please hit the subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the scents that I'm currently obsessed with when it comes to layering or mixing or however you wanna say it. I'm really just enjoying these for right now. You might try it and you might not like it, but I currently, I am obsessed with these combos. And some of them, honestly, I just happened to put together and I was just blown away. So I figured, you know, why not? Why not share it with you guys? I do want to say though, guys, you can mix and match whatever you want. When it comes to your fragrances, you can mix and match whatever you want. Honestly, that's literally how you figure out your signature scent by mixing and matching. Like it doesn't have to be one scent and one scent. You can mix whatever you want. You can try it out today. If it works, if it smells amazing, good. If it doesn't work, that's okay. Keep it pushing. Tomorrow you try another scent. Uh, I'm actually going to share a tip with you guys and I'm not going to take credit for that tip because I didn't come up with that way but I know I saw it on this lady's video when she was mixing fragrances for her candles actually, not for perfume. But I did try it and that was how I, at least like two of the combos that I'm actually going to talk about today that I like. So the first two scents that I love to put together and I feel like I've talked about this before is the Roses Vanilla. You guys know this is a sweet vanilla scent. I absolutely love this perfume on me by itself. It is not beast smell for me. I know a lot of people say it's beast smell for them but it's not beast smell for me. Um, to me this is just like a very sweet floral you know perfume and the one said it smelled like sweet tea and i agree it does give me that sweet tea feel and honestly i tried this combo because of that statement because of that statement that, that person had said i figured i have this other fragrance that gives me a lot of honey you know it gives me a lot of sweetness so what goes better than like you know really sweet tea with honey right like sweetness overload <laughs> So the fragrance that I like to mix with my Roses Vanille is the Wild Fox by Wild Fox. And when I tell you guys that this combo together is explosive, it gives you this sweet, <laughs> if you don't like sweet fragrances, maybe try and stay away from this. It's not an annoying sweetness to me, honestly. I like it. These two together are just, gorgeous let me tell you what the notes for each of them are for wild fox the top notes are apricot wormwood and incense middle notes are honeysuckle jasmine and camellia base notes are honey mux and ambroxan it's to me guys this is just like honey it's it's so i love it on its own doesn't last as long as i would want it to but still really performs beautifully for roses vanilla top notes say lemon and water notes middle notes are rose and sugar base notes are vanilla sugar wine musk and cedar so yes guys this is just sweetness overload i tried it i did because like i said because of that comment that said that this one smelled like sweet tea i feel like this combo is perfect for spring summer you might end up having bees chasing you but hey listen i've actually worn this together a couple of times and i really do enjoy it so you guys can try it out you know test it see if you like it if it does well with your body you know you're welcome <laughs> moving on this next combo i have guys i have talked about before and this is actually one that i have been wearing a lot like i have been wearing this one a lot like back to back to back um, because I got so many amazing compliments off of this. I remember I was at a store one time, I think I was at Hobby Lobby, and literally this lady walked up to me and she's like, oh my god, you're the one who smells like that. Like, I smelled this three aisles down, and I was just like, oh. She's like, she was wondering what that smell was, and it was actually me. So I was like, oh, thank you so much. And yes, that's literally how I said it. <laughs> this combo is the... MFK Gentle Fluidity and the Ellie Sab Le Perfume Royale. These two together, guys, these two together <sighs> equals magnificence, okay? It is an explosive vanilla. It is just, it's an explosive amber vanilla, but it gives you that like earthy, like, you know, like, 
Mm, guys, this combo together is insane. Out of everything I'm going to show you today, this is my favorite combo. This one I can tell you for a fact you will get compliments on. The other one you'll get compliments on as well. But this one, they will be pouring in. The compliments will be pouring in. People will just, people will be running to you. They'll be like, oh my goodness. These two scents together, guys. If you don't try anything else in this video, try these two. And then let me know what you think. I feel like it's just magnificent. Ah! You're looking for trouble. They do so well together, in my opinion, guys. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I spray this one first and then I spray this one on top. I don't remember. I just know I spray the both of them. It's either I do this one first and this one on top, or I do this one first and then it, I just do whichever, okay? The notes say vanilla, amber, musk, woody notes, nutmeg, juniper berries, and coriander. And for the Ellie Savoriel, top notes say Mandarin Orange, middle notes say Turkish Rose, Bulgarian Rose, Neroli, base notes say Patchouli, Amber, Vanilla, and Sandalwood. This combo, guys, I really, I really wish you can smell it. It does amazing. If you want that feminine feel, but then it's like a blast of it, like a strong, this, like these two together, in my opinion, are the smell. These two together are just... Mm, this is my best discovery. These, this combo is my best discovery of 2021, guys. Just try it together. If you don't like it, that's okay. But try it together. And then tell me if you don't get those compliments, okay? Like, no, I'm saying this one with my chest. These two together. Nah. Moving on to my next combo, guys. I know a lot of people might not think to put these together. Or maybe they would. I really don't know. But uh, this is a recent addition in my collection. It was actually on my wait list and I finally got it like a week ago. It is from the house of Rasasi. And as you guys know, I do have one Rasasi already that is just like a crazy beast. And so I was kind of expecting that. Plus other people have been saying as well that this one is like a huge beast. Uh, some of my subscribers and people I know recommend this as well. So it's the Rasasi La... Yukoma, I know I butchered that name. I don't know how to say it. I apologize. I do not know how to say that name. This is the Jasmine Wisp. This is actually the one I wanted to get initially before I got the Corfed. When I got it, I feel like I'll probably do an another video like talking more specifically on this perfume. But my opinion on this perfume is that it's not giving me what you guys said it would give me. This perfume is... <laughs> To me, I thought this perfume was going to be like a beast. I thought this perfume was going to be pro like projection was going to be insane. Like it was going to be like so long lasting and I don't know why, but on me, this perfume, it smells good, but that's it. Like it smells good. It's a pretty scent. Like it's, it's nice. It's not giving me that mm, that I thought Rosasi was gonna get. I don't even know. And so the perfume that I found that when I mix with this one is ridiculous. The Guerlain by Mon Guerlain. Guys, when I tell you, I don't even know why. Honestly, I don't know why I put this two together. I, I think I just picked up the bottle and I just like, hmm, what can I add? These two together. Now that is beast mode like that that that's the definition of beast mode these two together i don't know what's in this perfume that brings out what this perfume was supposed to be giving me the way this two smell together is kind of what i had in mind that this would smell like these two together is very intense that's what i'm gonna say sweet but it's not actually like the gourmand sweet this is a sweetness to me that's warm it has like a lot of mm, to it you know what i mean like it's not annoying it's what i have on it's very pretty it's long lasting i've sprayed these two on since and i am smelling it like if i raise my hand to do something if i just i smell it like it just hits me it just keeps hitting me it's like they both go together so in my opinion they both go together so well this is such a pretty gorgeous fragrance on its own we all know that girl on is big we all know that this is like a gorgeous gorgeous perfume that projects like a monster it gets me a lot of compliments it lives like an amazing trail but these two together ah i just discovered it and i figured i would share it 
it's an intense vibe. It's like this smells very nice. It's very pretty, you know, but this one darkens this one or this one brightens this one. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they do to each other, but it's a perfect, it's like, this is the guy, this is the girl. It's the perfect fit. For Jasmine Whips, the top notes say mandarin orange, grapefruit, and lemon. The middle notes say passion fruit, white flowers, pear, coconut, peach. The base notes say vanilla, amber, and tonka bean. On its own, I'm not even really sure what I get from the Jasmine Whips, if I'm being honest. I'm not really sure what I get from it but it's just like a very soft, good scent. Like I'm not wowed by it. For Guerlain, the top notes say lavender and bergamot. The middle notes say iris, jasmine sandback, rose. The base notes say Tahitian vanilla, cormarine, Australian sandalwood, benzoin, licorice, and patchouli. Just imagine how this smells, but imagine it intensified. That's what these two give me. It just intensifies that feeling of like that floral feminine vibe and it lasts. Like I tried it, it lasted me all day. These two together is just ridiculous. As you guys know, I like my crazy strong scents. These two together, ridiculous. So the next two combo I have for you guys is the Laventa Femme from Aha Remain. I've been talking about this one recently on my channel. I absolutely love it. And then the fragrance that I mix it with is one of my babies that I haven't been wearing that often, but it's still my baby. Uh, the Reem Accra. Guys, if you don't know about this fragrance, get into it. As you guys know, this one is a sharp, fruity, gorgeous, gorgeous, long lasting beast mode fragrance. This fragrance is sharp, but then it goes into like this beautiful fruity floor. It's a dark, sweet scent. This one, on the other hand, gives me that Middle Eastern Arabian princess, like Jasmine floating on the carpet with Aladdin vibe. That, <laughs> that's what this one gives me. I get oud from this, although it doesn't list that it has oud in it, but I just get that Middle Eastern luxury from this perfume. And when I pair these two together, guys, floral fruity magic. It's strong. If you don't like strong scents, don't pair these two together. Like, first of all, if you don't like strong scents, you probably shouldn't even be wearing this because this one is sharp. It's not gonna slap you, but it's sharp. Like you feel the sharpness here in the initial spray, but then it dries down into like this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fruity floral fragrance. It's like this one gives you that Oriental Princess vibes. And then this one just adds like this like beautiful fruity, like it's giving me, I live in the palace. My father's the king and I'm just walking around, you know, as the princess, I have my way, I do whatever I wanna do. It's liquid gold, okay? It is liquid, but it's liquid dark gold. When you put these two together, it's an exotic tropical burst. The orange blossom in this one, plus the other fruits in this one, the part, it's just like a burst. An exotic burst, guys. Like, I feel like it'll be perfect for summer, if you're brave enough to wear this, it will be perfect for summer. I love, this is like fruit heaven, <laughs> literally. It's like luxurious fruit heaven. Give it a try. Let me know if you guys like it. For the Levento fam, top notes are pineapple, black currant, bergamot, wild berries. Middle notes say cedar, fraser, and rose. Base notes say musk, sandalwood, amber and vanilla. And then for the Rima Accra, top notes say orange blossom, pear, bergamot, the middle notes say jasmine, ginger, peony, lily of the valley, or peony, I'm not sure how you say that. This definitely has that zestiness in it. The base notes say amber, patchouli, musk, and cedar. And so the last combo that I will be showing you guys, I cannot take credit for this one. I actually saw this off of her name is The Eve Effect. I saw this off of her video when she showed the fragrances that she layers. And guys, I tried it and let me just say, mm, sis knew what she was talking about because, whew, Lord, Lord, Lord. It's the Baccarat Rouge 540 from Francis Curtijon, Curtijon. And from YSL, we have the original Libre Libre. Guys, it gives you vanilla, it gives you floral, and it gives you lavender. This one just gives you that sweetness that Barker gives you. 
on its own. It smells amazing. It lasts the longest time. I've actually been using this to layer a lot of my other perfumes and it's been performing really, really well. These two together smell insane. What? The lavender, the vanilla, the zestiness that this one has is just so, so rich on its own. It doesn't last the longest, but it projects and it just I've always said that this one is for but this one is for events. This one is for when you go for those parties and you're there to show out. Like they're gonna see you, they're gonna know that you are there. You're gonna walk past and you're gonna have people's head like breaking because they're trying to turn around to see who just walked past. Now add this one on top. Ha! Ha! Guys, you will scatter the party. Eh? You will scatter the party. Are you kidding me? All I'm gonna say is, sis was onto something. You guys definitely need to try it out. Main of course, what Barker would say is woody, amber, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, aromatic, fresh, conifer, animalic. The top notes say saffron, jasmine. The middle notes say amberwood, ambergris. The base notes say fire resin and cedar. For the YSL, it says it's a white floral, it's citrus, lavender, vanilla, aromatic, sweet. Animalic, woody, powdery, fruity. The top notes say lavender, mandarin orange, black currant, head of grain. The middle notes say lavender again, orange blossom, jasmine. The base notes say Madagascar vanilla, musk, ambergris, and cedar. So they do have notes that are similar. It smells absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I love how they smell together. So yeah, that was the last of the fragrances, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching that. Before I go, I'm going to show you a quick tip that I learned. I don't know the name of the girl, but I saw it off of a video where she was testing out fragrances for her candle. She added the fragrances that she wanted to use for her candles on it and she kept it in a jar and then closed the lid and then she went back after maybe like a couple of minutes maybe 10 30 i can't remember she said that's how she figures out the scents that she wants to use in her candles that's literally how you come up with your signature scents without necessarily putting it on you if you want to get an idea of what it's going to smell like of course it's not skin of course your dna is still going to mix with it but in order to have an idea of what it smells like, you can definitely spray it on a cotton round and then you put it in a tight air bag like this or you put it in a jar that has a lid like the little jars and um, you smell it and there you go. Yeah. I really hope you guys enjoy watching. If you watched all the way to the end, thank you so much my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I enjoyed filming. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Have you tried any of these combos before? What is your current combo that you are loving? Let me know. Put me on. And if I put you on, let me know, okay? Don't forget to please hit the like button and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.